welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a luxury handbag tag. I'm so excited for this video. This is going to be the luxury bag it or trash it. My girl, Brown Girl Lux, created this tag. I will link her channel down below. You guys know I adore her. She created this tag and you guys know if you saw my luxury I'm not buying in 2021 video. I will link that down below. There are some popular bags that your girl is just not into. Now I'm going to leave this disclaimer here because the rude comments will not be tolerated. This is all done in jest and fun. This is not to say if I like a bag, if you don't like it, you have no taste and vice versa. This is all for fun, okay? If I do not like something that you like, that does not mean that I think you have horrible taste and I'm judging you. This is simply my opinion. Yeah, it had to be stated. So, if you're just here for a good, fun, luxury video where you might be able to learn a little bit, please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so the whole concept of this tag is to kind of rate popular luxury handbags right now and explain whether you would bag it or trash it. And this is going to be a little spicy because you guys know I am at a point in my luxury collection, handbags at least, where I'm starting to veer away from the trends I want things that are gonna make sense with my aesthetic, my lifestyle, things that are going to last in my collection. I have done my fair amount of buying and selling and buying and selling. I'm more into pieces right now that I can keep for years to come and really enjoy them. So you're probably not going to be surprised by a lot of the designers that I talk about, but I had to jump on this trend because my girl tagged me and this was so much fun to watch. So. I will be tagging five other ladies, I think it's five. To do this video, I will link their channels down below. Go check them out. I just think this is such a fun tag and I love talking about luxury bags, so why not? My first brand, and I'm gonna pop pictures on the screen because I don't own most of these items. The first brand is going to be Telfar. <laughs> now, this is gonna be a little spicy. Yes, I decided to pop out the gate with something spicy. Now, Telfar is a luxury black owned luxury line. I'm not too versed in this brand just because We'll get there in a moment. <laughs> um, I have seen Telfar bags really grow in popularity in the past year or so on social media. And you guys, I'm just gonna say it. This is no shade. This is just simply my opinion. And I do not think that my opinion is the only one that matters. These bags look like a gift with purchase that you would receive from a fragrance or a beauty counter. I'm just saying, and I know some of you guys are going to eat me up in the comments. It is what it is, okay? They look cheap, they look plastic. Now I do believe that it's a vegan leather so it's not genuine leather. It is a black owned luxury brand, but you guys, just because I believe in a concept doesn't mean that I'm gonna like it and or have to support it. I don't like these bags. They look like a free gift with purchase that you would get for spending $100 at the Clinique counter. I just, I've seen people unbox them and the few people that I've seen have not been very enthralled with them. They just look cheap and they, they just, I'm sorry. <laughs> they just don't look luxurious. Now I think these bags are well priced. I will put the prices across the screen, but yeah, I'm going to be trashing this bag. I will never add this bag to my collection. If someone gifted it to me, I would have to let them know that it's not my aesthetic and I don't like it and I would politely give it back. Um, yeah, and I know that you guys probably are going to eat me up alive in the comments, but I feel like we should stand by our words and tell far bags, they're just ugly to me. So I'm trashing it, all of the tell far bags. Yeah, every last one. <laughs> Okay, the next designer we're gonna talk about is Marc Jacobs. Now, the bag that I'm going to speak about, I have been seeing it all over social media. One of my girls, Lorraine, was the first one to actually put this bag on my radar. She purchased this bag last year, I believe, for her birthday, and it is so freaking cute. So this is the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. It's available in the mini size, a medium size, and a larger tote style bag. They also have it in a plethora of different patterns and colors and even fabrics. I love this bag, so I'm going to bag it. And I know what you guys are thinking. Girl, you don't like a tote, and you would be right. I am not a tote girl, you guys, so while I would bag this bag, I don't know if I would actually, I probably would purchase it, probably the mini one. I have been vacillating whether or not I'm gonna get this for my birthday because 
it's just so fun. I love the plethora of different prints it comes in. I know my girl Unique will just pick this bag up for her birthday as well. And it's so fun. I'm not really into totes, but I could see myself carrying the smaller one. So Marc Jacobs, you have definitely done your thing with the tote bag and I would be bagging it for sure. Okay, next is a spicy, spicy, spicy brand that caused a lot of chaos and confusion. <laughs> In that last video on my channel, this is Bottega Veneta. Now, this is a brand that I was first introduced to by my mom. She has a few pieces and also uh, the fragrance, which I really like. But when it comes to Bottega Veneta bags, here's the thing. I like the look of them, some of them, but for the price and how trendy they are, yeah. So first we're gonna talk about the cassette chain bag and I'll actually also insert a picture of the dupe that I purchased from Forever 21 and I'll link it down below because that dupe is fabulous. So we're gonna talk about it, the cassette chain bag. I'm trashing it now. I would purchase the dupe as I have with the Forever 21 bag, but for the price of this bag, which I believe is like close to three or $4,000, hell no. Like, I'm not afraid of throwing money, but it has to make sense. And like I said, where I am in my handbag collection, if I'm gonna spend $4,000 on a bag, she better be a Chanel, okay? I want it to be a bag that I can keep in my collection and wear for 10 years, you know? Not a bag that is going to be really trendy. Now, I'm not against trendy pieces. I think that for the right look, a trendy piece, you can just absolutely kill it. But for moi, I can't see myself spending thousands of dollars on a trend, so I'm not above buying a dupe. Now, with the dupes, to me, there's a difference between buying an inspired by style, whereas my Forever 21 bag is inspired by the cassette bag, but it's not trying to be sold as being Bottega. But buying the actual replica, mm, wouldn't do that. But the Forever 21 dupe, I'm here for. The second bag is the Bottega Veneta Jody, the mini Jody. I think this bag is so cute. But for the price, I wanna say it's right under $2,000. I just can't see myself paying $2,000 for such a tiny little bag, if I'm speaking of the mini Jody bag. So yeah, I'm going to have to trash this and the cassette bag, both of them. I think I could probably get a dupe from Amazon for under $50 and like it just the same. Uh, yeah, I'm just really not into spending a lot of money on trendy pieces. So for that alone, I am trashing both of those bags. Uh, I like the aesthetic of them. I guess it was the price that was off-putting for me because when I saw it on Forever 21's website, I needed it and it was in my cart. But for the purposes of this video, specifically speaking of Bottega Veneta bags, they're going to be trashed. I'm sorry, guys. Actually, I'm not sorry. <laughs> the one bag from Bottega Veneta that I do really love it's not a bag that's too popular, so this is just gonna be like a little segue. It's called the Triangle Bag. This is beautiful. I think that it has a classic shape. Now, I still don't, well, I might pay the price depending, but I really do like the Triangle Bag, and if we're gonna add it in this video, even though it's not too trendy right now, I would definitely bag it, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> the next brand we're gonna talk about is Givenchy, and the bag I am going to feature is the Antigona Soft. Now, I love the traditional Antigona bag. I think it's structured and classic, it's beautiful. You guys know I have my eye on one. I'm trying to trade it with something in my collection and get it from my mother. That bag is classically chic, it's feminine. I love it, you just can't go wrong with it. But the newer soft version, it just looks like saggy and I don't know. I understand the need for it and why it was created. It's a more relaxed, comfortable take on the Antigona bag, but that just doesn't match my aesthetic and for the price, it's a little pricey. Now, I am someone that loves to buy pre-owned, so if I were to get any one of the bags that I'm bagging, I probably would get them pre-owned. If I can save 50, 100, 500, 1,000, 2,000 dollars, yeah, she's going to. So I would not necessarily do the Antigona Soft. I just, something about it just looks very slouchy and I'm not here for it. So if we're speaking about this bag, I'm absolutely trashing it. Okay, I'm really excited for this brand. This is good old Coach, you guys. And I will be doing a video maybe next month or the month after where I speak about how I got into luxury 
Um, what was my first luxury purchase? What were the bags that I was into at that point in my life when I was 13? Um, but Coach is one of the first brands that I was introduced to when I started buying luxury. I know some people might not place Coach in the luxury or designer bag category. Um, I think Coach is considered a luxury brand, but that's neither here nor there. Now, all the rage around town, AKA social media, is this Coach Tabby bag. So let's talk about it, darling. We're gonna discuss the Tabby 26, I believe, and the Tabby 18. The 26 is the larger size, and the 18 is the mini. Now, <sighs> pull up a chair, girl, because I have a few friends who have actually purchased this bag, and also, like, a plethora of you guys on social media, my buddy. When you all carry this bag, I love it. It looks soft and sumptuous and puffy and squishy and the colors are so beautiful. I especially love the ivory shade and the orange. I just think they're so fun for summer, but I'm gonna have to trash both these bags and it's not because I hate the bag. I, like I said, I'm someone where I am in my luxury collection right now, I want bags that will be able to last for five to 10 years. That's just how I am. I don't like having to sell things and transition my collection. So my philosophy is that the Coach Pillow Tabby is just too soft and squishy. Now, I know that is the hallmark feature that draws people to this bag, but I just see it creasing and then I'm OCD and then in my mind, I have to sell it because it's flawed and it just looks too soft. I like a bag that has some structure to it so that it can take a little bit of wear and tear because I don't wanna have to baby my bags. I don't think I have any super light colored bag, though I do want like a white Fendi bag. I think that'd be so cute. But I don't wanna have to baby my bags and the Coach Pillow Tabby just looks so soft and I would be so afraid to use it. So for that reason alone and that reason only, I'm gonna have to trash the Coach Pillow Tabby. One of my friends is always telling me to get it but I just don't think I would like it. I think that it would start creasing and I would be over it and the next thing you know, it'd be sold. So while I love this bag, I'm gonna have to trash both the Coach Pillow Tabby large and the small. I know. Okay, next we have a brand that I recently just purchased a bag from. This is my most recent luxury haul. It is Gucci and I will link that haul down below. <sighs> okay, now this bag is not too, too popular right now, but I couldn't think of another bag from Gucci that was really popular right now, just saying. And it is the Gucci Jackie O. Now, this was probably one of the first luxury bags that I ever lusted after, besides Louis Vuitton, of course. And we'll get more into this in the video where I share how I got started into luxury and who introduced me. My cousin had the black, like the all black, black on black, Gucci Jackie O, and she had the hat and she had the wallet, I think. And something just drew me to the shape of this bag. It was so classic, but it was still like casual and I loved it. So I want this bag. Now I don't know if I want it in the leather or the signature Gucci uh, fabric, but the Gucci Jackie Yo, we are absolutely bagging her. I don't think I will get this bag this year just because there are other bags that I kind of want a little more, but the Gucci Jackie O, first of all, it's Jackie O. Like, she's classic, she's sophisticated, she's chic. So this is a bag that I absolutely want to add to my collection. I'm also not sure if I would go with something brand new or pre-owned. They also have a new mini variety of this bag, which I think is just to die for. So yeah, I'm bagging the Gucci Jackie O, and this is a bag that I have just loved for decades, and I'm so glad that it is popular again. But even when it's not popular, I don't want bags in my collection that are just like really popular and trendy. Um, yeah, I like pieces that work for me. <laughs> so even when this bag is not trendy anymore, I will still love it because I've always loved it and it was one of the first bags that I really just was like enthralled with. So the Gucci Jackie O, we are bagging her. Okay, you guys, the next brand is the brand that I have shopped the most of this year, and that would be Chanel. You guys know if you saw my 2021 wish list that this is the year of Chanel for me. 
Last year, I didn't do too much luxury shopping. So this year, now, seeing as though I won't be traveling until 2022 or later, I'm enjoying my excess money and your girl has been throwing money at Chanel. So let's talk about some really popular bags right now. Let's just start with the most popular bag, I think, right now, and that is the Chanel 19. I... I go back and forth with this bag. I like the look of it sometimes. It depends on which color it's in and which fabric it's in. I really only like it in the leather varieties and in like the small size. But my problem with this bag is that it is more tall than it is wide. And my philosophy with those bags is that you can't sit it straight up on your lap. Like if I go to dinner, where am I gonna put it? I don't wanna have to bring a purse hook. So that bag for me, I'm gonna have to trash it. It's not because I hate it. I mean, I do think that once again, that bag is very pillowy and soft and that it won't last as much, but I do like the general overall aesthetic. I love the mix of the chains, the metals. I love the look of it for the most part, but I have OCD, you guys, and that bag would annoy me. So I'm gonna trash the Chanel 19. Once again, this is not me saying that I hate it because I actually like it, but it just wouldn't fit into my collection. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to trash it. And the second bag from Chanel that I'm gonna talk about is the Chanel Coco Handle. And I had, well, I'm just gonna call her my friend. My girl, Samantha, has two of these beautiful bags. I believe she has a very light lilac cocoa handle and does she have a yellow? She might. You guys, this bag is beautiful. Now, if there was going to be one bag that I would buy from Chanel this year if price was not an option, that's the operative phrase. I would pick up the Chanel Coco Handle. She is just everything. When I think of the classic Chanel bag, I don't automatically go to the Chanel flaps. I go to something like this, a structured medium-sized handbag that I could wear in my 30s right now, in my 40s, in my 60s, and even in my 80s that I could pass down to someone. This is it. This is the epitome of a classic Chanel bag in my opinion. Now at first I really, really liked the trendy CC, but then I started seeing how with where the corners kind of caved in a little bit. And then my girl Samantha got two of the cocoa handles and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up. She is gorgeous. So if price were not an issue, I would get that bag. But my handbag budget this year is 2,500. So she does not work within that budget. But if we're just talking about the bag overall, I am bagging the Chanel Coco handle. She's just fabulously chic and she's everything. So, okay, this next designer is spicy. And this is going to probably cause some confusion and chaos in the comments. But once again, this is not my intention. This is just my opinion. And my opinion is not gold. It's just my opinion. So we're going to talk about Versace. And <laughs> there's not one specific bag I'm talking about because I'm going to trash them all. Now, let me discuss. I have a friend on Instagram who just recently acquired the most beautiful purple Versace handbag and she is gorgeous. Versace is just not my vibe. Like I said, if we're speaking on all the bags that I've touched on today that I am bagging, they're classic, they're chic, they're timeless. Versace to me is just very loud and ostentatious. Now that does not mean I'm saying if you carry Versace, you are loud and ostentatious. No ma'am. Um, I own Versace, but not in handbags or shoes or anything like that. Versace is just very busy. It's loud, it's bold, and it's in your face. But that is what the brand represents. And I don't think anything is wrong with that. But my style is more simplistic and classic. So if we are thinking about the Versace bags, I'm trashing them all. None of them really fit my <laughs> none of them really fit my aesthetic, at least not any of the popular ones that I have seen. The Medusa is just so loud and in your face. Um, once again, I'm not saying if you have Versace that I think you look tacky. I don't think Versace is tacky. It's just a very loud and in your face brand. And the more I mature 
and figure out what it is that I really like in my luxury collection overall, handbag, shoes, clothing, whatever. I like pieces that are understated. And when you guys see my birthday haul in June or July, you'll be shocked at some of the pieces that I'm acquiring. I don't always want to scream, oh, look at me. Like sometimes I just want something a little more understated. So for that reason alone, we're trashing Versace. Nothing against the brand, it's just not for your girl. And the last fashion house that we're gonna speak about today is probably my favorite and that is Louis Vuitton. I have not purchased a Louis Vuitton bag since Almost a year ago, I purchased the Keep Off 50 for my birthday, and Louis Vuitton was the first brand that I ever acquired, I believe. It is classic now. Once again, Louis Vuitton is in your face. It's monogrammed, but I don't know. I'll always have a special place in my heart for Louis Vuitton because that's what I started with, and it's still classic in my opinion. I know some people might not think so. Louis Vuitton has since taken a turn over the past few years and they're moving away from a lot of the monogram pieces, which are my favorite. So let's talk about it. The first bag is the Speedy and we're gonna talk about the Speedy in every category. I'm talking monogram canvas, Damia Azor, Damia and Bean, I'm prompt, Vernie. If they make one, I don't think they ever have. Well, they might've made one. I hate the Speedy. <laughs> okay, now I do own one Speedy. It is the, Ma no, no, no. It's the Damier Azure Speedy 35. Now I got that Speedy 35 when I was mm, mid 20s or early 20s. So I really haven't worn that bag in a really long time. But something about that bag speaks to me when it's the summertime and I have on white, when I'm on vacation, when I go to Miami, okay? It's not one of my favorite styles, so I don't think I would ever purchase another Speedy again. It just, it's just too casual of a bag. It's not structured enough and yeah, I'm not here for it. So we're trashing the Speedy, though I do own one. The second bag is the Multi Pochette Accessoire. Now, we're trashing this bag too. It's just too trendy and it's way too expensive for what it is. Like, that's another thing. Louis Vuitton has really increased their prices on a lot of their canvas pieces. I'm not paying $2,000 for a small monogram bag. No, I'm just not doing it. I would rather buy a Chanel bag. So this um, multi pochette is just too trendy. It's not my vibe. I don't hate it. I just would definitely trash it. So <laughs> that's that. Now they have this new line called the Marshmallow Emprunt Ombre. Maybe that's not what it's called, but it just looks so trendy. Now, once again, you guys know that I'm not here for the trends, but every year Louis Vuitton comes out with a limited edition collection in the spring and summertime that is very trendy. I tend to not like them. Once again, I wanna be able to wear my piece three years from now, and this is a collection that I just think is going to be very dated. Now, the next bag is the Cousin or the Cousin. It's in the PM and the Pochette. This bag, I don't know. Does anybody else think that this bag just looks fake? And I love the emprunt leather, but there's something about this bag. I just think they tried to mix too many trends. It looks like a Bottega and a Louis Vuitton mixed. And it just doesn't do it for me. This bag looks like a fake Louis Vuitton bag. I don't like it. I don't understand it. Uh, I'm sure that there are people who can rock the hell out of this bag. I've probably seen women wearing this bag on Instagram and I've liked the picture because it looks nice, but I don't get this handbag. So I would absolutely be trashing both of these styles. I just think they look fake. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's the chain and the emprunt. It just looks weird and very trendy and your girl's not here for it. So you guys, that is the end of my bag it or trash it tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was so fun to film. Just thinking about the popular bags that are really in right now and the things that I would actually add to my collection. I will probably never do a full handbag collection. Um, I love talking about luxury bags and I know that this is not going to be like always the most popular opinion, but it is my opinion. And I love watching videos, even when ladies and gentlemen are talking about bags and maybe they hate them and I love them. I still like hearing all the differences of opinion because they help me make my purchases. What might be a con for me might be a pro for you 
and vice versa. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, it was all done in fun and love. I'm going to link the women that I'm tagging down below and put their pictures on the screen. I haven't decided exactly who I want to tag right now, but I hope they do this tag. It was very fun. And once again, thank you so much to Brown Girl Lux for tagging me. She told me about the concept of this video and I was all in. If you guys have not checked out her channel, I will link the video that she did down below. It was so much fun. So many of the bags that she was trashing, I have trashed as well. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.